Sean, uh, obviously it's been a tough couple of days for obvious reasons, uh, but you must be proud of your players after the resilience they've shown this afternoon, given everything that's gone on, and, and equally playing the you know over an hour, ten minutes as well. Yeah, it's been um, yeah extremely difficult the last forty hours um, for everyone at the club, players, staff. So yeah, for the for the team to show what they did in the second half in particular, uh, down to ten men, um, and a and a fight and a spirit. To basically not concede is, um, uh, yeah, I was I was super proud of what they did, um, and I put the supporters in that. They stayed to the end um, because an extremely difficult last forty hours for them as well. Huh? I think they they found out late last night. So um, yeah, appreciate the support and then what the players showed today. Football on the field, I suppose, seems a bit irrelevant given the circumstances at times, doesn't it? But how difficult has today been and just preparing for such a game today? Um, it's been extremely difficult. I think, uh, I look, it was. Um, it gets uh, pretty emotional. I think when it, uh, when all employees and I put like that's players, staff, everyone, stadium. Uh, this is, um, yeah, impacts people in a big way. It impacts families. So, emotional time and, um, yeah, to try and prepare for a game. Um, yeah, it was very hard. But I think uh, once we actually got to the stadium today. Um, um, you could see that the players wanted to compete, um, and then the pride that they showed in the last, uh, particularly second half, uh, probably last half an hour. Um, yeah, you could see the pride, and um, uh, and the supporters gave us just uh, uh, the supporters gave us as much as what the players gave us on the pitch. Their first goal came, and then obviously the Omar picked up the two bookings. No complaints with the two fouls. No, I think uh, look, they were playing very well at the time, Burnley. Uh, they were creating. We. Um, yeah, again, look, looking at the preparations, we tried to pre we prepared for for two ways that they were going to play, um, uh, and they played very well. They created chances, uh, they created big spaces behind their fullbacks, which we we also tried to stop. Um, but yeah, the um, sending off I've got no problem with. Uh, the goals um, I've always got a problem with. Um, but uh, I think the the biggest thing I would, and why I'm so proud, and uh, we've been beaten three 0 but I'm more proud of what they did in the last half an hour and. And what my sport gave me in particular uh, in that time as well. You know, after all the pressure in the first half, you know, Stephen Cork had a header and then Fletch had a chance just before the break as well. We could have gone in level, couldn't we? Yeah, no, look, in these moments, I think when, um, particularly when you're down to 10 men, um, you're not, you're going to get very few chances, particularly the way that Burnley play. Um, they keep possession of the ball and, um, yeah, these are the chances that you have to take if, um, when you go down to 10 men, but... I've got nothing, um, nothing negative to say about any of the players today. I thought uh, whether they made a mistake or not, look what they've done in the or what they've been through in the last forty hours, and then to produce what they did, um, I've got nothing but pride for them. And obviously, their uh, their second straight after our time from a corner, a little bit of a sucker punch given the the, the chances probably we had just before the break. It's a set play. Whether you've got ten or eleven men, I think. Um, like when you have ten men, there's, there's certainly the spaces in the set play become bigger, and that's what happened. So um, we could have defended it better. Um, yeah, we could have. I think any goal, um, even the first goal, how we defend the box. But I'm not going to be too critical today. Appreciate there's more immediate things to think about, but we do obviously face commentary up next Tuesday night at home, uh, and obviously we're all hoping things are, you know, resolved off the field. Um, but you've got a job to do to plan for for a big game on Tuesday. Yeah, look, I think even before this game, um, we understand the responsibility that we have. We have people that paying pay to come and watch us. We have to give the minimum 100%. I think uh, emotionally, the last 48 hours was tough for them. But tomorrow, I want them to, I want them to to almost take their mind away from football for the next 24 hours, because when we come back um, and when we all train fully together on Monday, it has to be a mindset that we're going into this game for a fight like no other. Um, and it has to mean that much to everyone, supporters, uh, players, all the staff. We have to be ready to um, we have to fight this uh, this Tuesday, and we have to be ready for it.